Hello, 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 my Pisces. How are you doing today? I hope everything's going well for you in the world. Uh, this is for your reading for the final 10 days of October. So um, I hope that you enjoy the reading. But also uh, the Scorpio season is coming up. So because I'm a Scorpio, I'm doing all my readings for 50% off. So you can get a personal reading right now. It's regularly $50. I changed the price to $25. So that's from October the 22nd to November, uh, October the 23rd to November the 22nd. Okay. Can, can, uh, can't talk today. Uh, so again, the dates are October the 23rd through November the 22nd. If you like that $25, personal reading okay so just check the description box for my email and we will go from there all right so this is for your 10 days so let's see what's coming up for you for Pisces Pisces angel guides and spirits please show me the cards I need to see for Pisces okay throughout the day the deck and make sure that we answer all the questions that Pisces is seeking in love and relationship finance more please through the energy okay Let's see what's going on thank you angels all right we did get four cards here um worth waiting for came out True love, um, wedding, and there was deception here. Okay, so remember, deception can also mean um, a false mask. It doesn't mean that they did something behind your back. It just means it could be, right? Uh, but it's showing here worth waiting for true love, wedding, and deception. So someone's wearing a false mask here, okay? Maybe, or they're in denial that how much they love you or you love them. And this could be for a cross watcher or the roles can be reversed. Okay. So we'll take it as it resonates. This is a general reading. Um, but what I'm feeling right here before we even get into the tarot, I feel like there's a person, um, you're not quite sure of and, or you, you or your person is not quite sure of. Um, if you want to be in this relationship or not, or this could be you're getting married and you're not sure if you want to get married or engaged. Okay. Or it could be somebody who is already married and you are looking at someone else possibly. Okay. Pisces. Um, but what I feel like this is a, already in a, a marriage already that, you know, maybe before you were not sure Pisces, that this is, and you're not quite sure about this person that you're with and how this is going to turn out. But this does look like a current marriage that you might be separated. You might be going through a divorce or you could have been divorced and you just want to go back with this person. Okay. Cause you feel like this is your true love. This is someone you need to be patient with. And, but there's a deception here of something that you did Pisces or your person did. Okay. And this could be for the cross watcher. Um, but I'm feeling like that's what I'm feeling from right now. Okay. That this is you Pisces that you're, you're wanting to true love with someone and you're willing to wait for this person. And, um, because maybe you have done some deception in the past, not sure if it's you or the other person, but someone kind of maybe had cheated, maybe had a third party, maybe had left the person and you left this person alone. And when I say you, Pisces, again, this could be for the cross watcher. This could be for your person, okay? Just kind of given a different scenario. Um, but it does look like you're waiting on them, all right? So let's get to the tarot to see what happened, okay? Again, um, you know, I'll be uploaded for November, Pisces. So please go ahead and click the subscribe button so that way you will get notified of this connection here with the November reading, okay? All right, so let's see. Angel, gods, and spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. Okay, the world card. Feeling stuck. <clears throat> Excuse me, someone's wanting to talk to me. 
Angel Gods and Spirits. Angel Gods and Spirits. Angel Gods and Spirits. Show me some more cards, please. Oh, that came out sideways, so we're going to do that. Oh, that one's hurt. So let's kind of look at what we have. We have a be new beginning here. This card is your overall energy Pisces. You're wanting a new beginning with this person. Now this person could be wanting a new beginning or both. But there was some kind of like deception going on here. Okay. Because it's followed by, you know, a person feeling stuck in this relationship. And I feel like this is your person, Pisces. Okay. Strongly I'm feeling like this is your person. It could be you. But take it as it resonates. So, um... Or the cross watcher, you may have felt major person made Pisces feel stuck in this relationship, or again, but there's a new beginning because of that feeling, okay? Because the happiness card followed the nine of cups here. There's a lot of happiness. You feel like Pisces, this card person is in your happiness. This is the only person that can make you happy. And you in your marriage, you want to go back to your marriage. You felt safe there, but you don't know how what to do to get the person back. And here are the three of wands in reverse. And in the positive, you know, you're waiting for your ships to come in, the kind of vision of being with this person. But you're not quite sure how this is going to turn out, Pisces, okay? Because there was some deception. You know, there could have been some sexual acts going on. There could have been some things that made your person really unhappy. And this could be for a cross watcher. So please don't. I'm not saying all on you, Pisces, but I, I'm feeling like your person, um, you feel like your person may have had a change of heart here about you. All right. And, but you want them back. You want this marriage back. And you feel like this is true love. And this is a person you can't forget, Pisces. And you're worth, you're waiting. You're willing to do anything to get this person back. And you're waiting. Because you feel like this is just the true love of your life. Okay. All right. So let's go five more cards. Okay, the juggling card, and I'm going to show you these cards, but let me get two more. Well, there they come. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't get the words out. Okay. Yeah, if someone in this relationship was juggling two things, okay? You could be juggling a person, Pisces, or this person could have been juggling you. But there was some juggling here of this deception here, and that's what gives me the feeling that there was another third-party situation here with that deception card. All right, here's the Three of Pentacles. All right, there's ideas that has, you know, that you had a future with this person. You felt like this is your marriage and everything. And something happened and this energy is making me feel like your, your relationship got destroyed by this third party. The person, your person found out about it. Okay. Or you found out about it because there's your son card, the happiness, the freedom to feel in love with this person. You love this person all the time, but at the time that you were with this person, you did not think they were the one for you. You felt like you can find someone better. Okay, Pisces? And, but at the end, you see your person as the Empress. This is the only one that you want. This is the true love that you want. Okay? And, um, you know, just that nurturing love and energy of feeling really loved. Okay? All right. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. So if you've been juggling someone, um, your person's very hurt, or in the past, they're probably getting over it, but there was some deception here. So on your end, Pisces, you know how this, this worked out, but there's a new beginning here, okay, overall energy. All right, so let's get, see what happens. Angel, God, and Spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. Gods and Spirits, please show me two more cards. Okay. Yeah, and on the bottom of the deck is the burden. The Ten of Wands. Someone's carrying the weight of this relationship regrets. All right. Here um, are the ten of coins here. Yeah, a good relationship got destroyed here. You know, the coins can also mean finances, but I'm feeling strongly like a lot of beautiful things, a lot of things that you had going with your, your wife or your husband, 
um, led to a disaster. And this person, you had a great, you know, you feel like you missed an opportunity here with this person that they were probably very intelligent. Or And again, Posse, this could be you. Um, this could be you had an opportunity to be growing with this person. They're the love of your life. This person was doing everything for you, you know, so forth. Okay, so again, this could be for the cross watcher. Um, the king of swords here. Okay, you're standing in your power posses here, and you're wanting to communicate. You really want to bring back the strength of this relationship here with the the king of swords, because you're wanting to talk to this person, and you really want this person to change their mind and about you, because this is things that got destroyed here. Right, both of you, I feel like both are cannot move away from this relationship. It's a, kind of like a strong magnetic feeling that you are bounded together and there's no way you can forget each other um and you don't want to you just don't want to leave this relationship okay you, you want to be in this back in your marriage and you realize and this could be for your cross watcher or your person the person someone re recognizes that this is a beautiful relationship okay but somebody also got betrayed here um, and that's why I'm thinking here with deception card and the juggling. That's why it's a third party here. I don't know if it's you, Pisces, or someone else in your relationship, your wife or your husband. Someone was juggling someone else and someone got betrayed. And the deception here is showing that. But you found out or your person's finding out they want their marriage back. They don't want to deal with anyone else anymore. You got rid of the third party. And the juggling act between you and someone else or them and, you know, your person. But someone was definitely betrayed here. And someone's carrying on the ten, on the bottom of the deck was the ones, the ten of wands. Someone's showing regrets and carrying that weight of the heaviness. But there is true love here. And I think you are, and your person recognize there's true love here, but there's something that I'm feeling because of that deception is kind of hard for you or your person to get over. And this is why that King of Swords is here. That communication is is very desperately needed. Okay. But someone's feeling betrayed. They got betrayed. And it's not a good thing, right? So let's see what happens. Let's clarify that Ten of Swords. Posse's. Angel Guides and Spirits, please show me and clarify the cards. Please show me. Uh, two cards for the Ten of Swords here. Please care clarify. Yeah. And one more card for clarification, please. All right. Yeah. Okay. So in the world card here, you have overall energy of a beginning of a new start with your person. Okay. But because of that betrayal here, there's some still lingering toxic feelings of bad feelings with your person. And they're not sure if they want to move in that new journey, take a leap of faith with you because they feel like they've been betrayed. Right. And this energy of feeling, um, it could be you Pisces, but, um, if it's not you, it's your person or the cross watcher. Someone betrayed someone. There's some lingering feelings from that betrayal. Okay, this is some kind of obsession. You can't let go of that person either or neither. That the true love is here. Okay, that true love is showing, but someone can't let go and it's obsessed assessing with it. But I feel because it's beside that ten of swords here with the ten of swords of betrayal. Um, someone is still feeling that that hurt you know someone did somebody wrong here and that feeling of toxic poison is still sitting in the deception area feeling that deception so someone's not want to move uh want to uh well i'm not gonna say not to move on but someone's kind of hesitant to start this new beginning okay so let's look into uh anything else we need to know for pisces angels Okay, this is a relationship. This true love is a it was a marriage, and something a third party or juggling between two people, um, betrayal. And but you do have the empress here. This is a 
true love relationship, now you want it back. Okay? Someone's wanting somebody back for their happiness. Here. Someone's wanting that happiness back because that's the only way you feel happy is being with this person. Now you recognize it's true love from your heart that this is somebody you really want to be with now. Okay? Let's see. Angel God Spirit, can you show me anything else I need to tell Pisces? Is there anything else I need to tell Pisces? Anything else? One more card, please. Okay, so let's start with these two. Alright, you have a good future with this person. And the person that you're with is building their life and building their dreams. And this could be you, Pisces, okay? But um, here you have the five of coins also next door to each other. And you want this person to help you or you want they want help from you. They want you to support them. They want to find that, that support system within you, okay? Or you want that person to support you, okay? Take it as it resonates. And here you someone got tired and did not want to put in the love anymore. Um, so the person that maybe it's your wife or your husband, um, or the cross watcher, this person is feeling like, you know, they, they're not sure of you anymore. Okay. They're not sure if they want to put their energy and their love back into this situation that made them exhausted and mentally exhausted, physically exhausted. And this could have worn you down too. And the energy level is not really there, but there is, you know, a true love here. All right, so I'm gonna pull one more card for that not that Ace of Cups. What is the okay? What is the final? Let me get shuffling. Show me the final card for Pisces. Show me the final card for Pisces. The next ten days. What else? One more, oh, okay, flew over my shoulders here. Okay. I'm going to put that back. It's a page of a cup, so I'm going to put that back and see if it comes out again. Okay. Show me one more card, please. Put that Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> They're just bouncing today. Yeah. This betrayal's here. Okay, and that person feeling, you or that person's feeling that, but still feeling that betrayal. And it's confirm, and it's, um, double comfort, confirmation here. Okay, someone got betrayed. But at the end of things, the Nine of Cups is here, there's still a lot of love. And I say that with true love. Okay, there's a lot of true love here. And so, I do see you, right now it's kind of like, you you or your person's wanting it to work and the other person's being very hesitant they're pulling back a little bit they're still working with you they're still talking to you and they won't they're putting in some energy into it that's what i'm getting like there's some energy going on here but they're still tired they're thinking about here like being a little hesitant like uh you know i really want to get back with my husband or my wife but I'm not so sure about that because I remember what, the betrayal and the hurt that I'm still, you know, healing from is still there. And, but this is the Empress here talking. Okay. So this be possibly, this could be you or your person, but there is some true love here. So I do feel like, you know, as long as someone's waiting and someone, one person's still putting in the energy, eventually it can work. Okay. Pisces. So if you're, if one person has lost hope, as long as there's one more per, the other person is still wanting to work at it and worth waiting for, then it's going to, you know, just kind of keep going with it. Okay. But yeah, you know, have that understanding Pisces or cross watcher that this person really was done wrong. Okay. Or this person could have done this to you Pisces. Now, if it's you Pisces, understand it. If this is cross watcher, please understand it. If this is your person, understand if your person gave you the betrayal understand your own feelings okay it's not easy to get over a betrayal all right but the happiness card is here 
So I do see that you're feeling a lot of happiness. It's the only person you want to be with. And I do see the end card here showing that lot of love and that happiness, okay? So that's and we're going to go into two uh, oracle cards and see how this relates, okay? Pisces. All right. Okay, let me shuffle. Two cards, please, Angel. Two cards, Angel, for the final 10 days of October. One. One more, please. Okay, we're just going to take that one. All right. Okay. All right. Pedro Gabriel says, follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So if you want to be with this person, there's going to be a lot of ventures. You're not bored with this person. <laughs> you don't get bored with this person. Um, King of Ariel says, your plans are working out very well, professionally and financial success. Use resources wisely, okay? Again, it's, I think it's talking about here, your money or the persons that you're working with. Um, build your financial success or your person's doing this. But also kind of keep in mind that you know, follow your, your heart, okay? Follow your mind and your logic with your heart and see where it leads you. But kind of understand your happiness is there. You could be happy with this person. And I think you really know that you truly love this person, Pisces, okay? And you feel like, you know what, this is the best person for me. And this is in a wedding, you you know, like I said, this could be a, a very serious engagement. Uh, planning to get married, you know, maybe soon, or this was a wedding or marriage already that went bad, okay? So let me know in the comments what the outcome was or if this resonates with you, okay? So um, again, if you want a personal reading, just individually, it's $25, but if you, it looks like the spread lot, this is what I would do, the same thing, and but it'd be based on your questions and based on uh, what you want to know okay so um kind of keep that in mind all right so anyway Pisces this is your reading for the final 10 days of October November will be coming out closer to the end of October so or around that first week or so of November so if you want that please subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified and if you'd like to donate to my channel you can do that through PayPal and for the support and love support thank you guys for whoever's been donating <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for donating. Um, it does keep me motivated to keep doing this, right? Because it is very time consuming. So anyway, um, and I love doing, you know, tarot readings for you to be help you in your life somehow. And leave me a comment. Let me know. Okay. So this is really interesting right here to follow your passion. All right. That's what I'm going to say. Thank you for visiting and thank you for everything. Pisces. Okay. Take care and best wishes to you. And I'll see you at the reading in November. Thank you. Take care. Bye.